we'll talk with you. Um, so again, our number is 739-5686. Uh, let's continue praying, baby. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. Okay. Well, I've been asked to pray for a lady who is um, getting ready to go through a divorce. And uh, it's the type of situation that um, the husband is has psychopathic tendencies, very mm. controlling and all that, and it's just not a good situation. So, <sighs> Father, I just ask that you help me to pray your will here. Father, I lift up this lady to you, and Father, I'm going to ask that your justice will prevail because, God, I know that her husband has a tendency to uh, be a liar and to always make himself look good and to always cast blame. And Father, I believe that she is a believer. And I'm going to ask, Father, that you would be her advocate. And I pray, Father, that as this thing um, turns into a full blown out um, case in the courtroom, that the truth would totally come out. I pray, Father, that you would silence the lies of the enemy. Father, she's got a friend who's going to be testifying to her, to her character. I pray, Father, for this friend that when she opens her mouth, you will fill it. And I pray, God, that there will be no way that this friend can be maligned because she is a woman of outstanding and upright character. Father, there's a child involved, and I know that the man is, is um, fighting for full custody. And Father, I know that you will do what's best for this little child, Lord. And I ask, Father, that you keep this child in your watch care. I pray, God, that this child will not be put in harm's way whatsoever. And God, I pray that you would not separate mother and child here, yes, Lord. I do pray for your justice. I pray that your truth will prevail, that the truth of this whole situation would be totally um, brought forth and that yes, the lies would be exposed. And Father, I we will all give you the praise and the honor and the glory. Thank you, Lord. Let's take this call here. Welcome to the prayer line. How can we pray for you? Yes. Um, things didn't quite go right for me today. Uh huh. So I really need the Lord to forgive me for some things I did today. I said the did. Mm hmm. And but so uh, my baby son is really sick. He needs prayer. Uh, continue to pray for my daughter and uh, oldest son. The the family feud between them is getting worse. And let's remember the people that uh, lost their homes and some of their possessions and stuff right here in Coleman. Yeah, those the little storm. uh, storms, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was, it was pretty rough. Yeah. And uh, let's just remember all the others that had the floods and, and went through all of that. And those, you know, the children and all that got right. play. And, and then those children that... Uh, in the compound, the women and those children in that, let's remember them. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, let's just remember everybody that needs a word in their life. We'll pray okay. for them right now. Thank you, Lord. Oh, don't forget me, Cindy. We won't. Okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Got one more call here. Welcome to the prayer line. How can we pray for you? Uh, I need physical prayer. Okay. And uh, me and my daughter, she has emotional needs. And we need to be closer. Um, and I have family and friends that need to, you know, need to be prayed for. Um, I guess that's it, about it. Okay. Okay. We'll pray for them right now. Thank you so much. It. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, thank you, Lord. Uh, I want to read scripture right here and then we're going to take a bit of a break and then we're going to come back and it relates to uh, what we were praying for with this situation. I don't know who the family is and what's going on, but this is how the body of Christ will work. 
And so you were praying and you were praying for justice for this for this lady because of things that have come and harm and things like that. What's going through my mind is, Lord, just change that guy's heart. Just absolutely whack him, absolutely save him, get him turned totally around and restore it. And you say, well, that sounds like two different type of prayers and two different things. No, it's not the same thing. It's, it's just the body of Christ. We'll, we'll pray and we'll intercede. And out of that will come, what? Salvation of somebody. Justice in, in the midst of what has occurred. And that which looks like it can never happen. Um, this is 1 Corinthians 6, chapter, uh, verse 9. Or do you not know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor the covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers shall inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, this is not an inclusive list. This is a list of things that Paul was addressing within the body of Christ here. And, and it's for us. And he says, these, if you're a pattern and practice of behavior and lifestyle that's aligned with this, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the next verse is the verse of hope. And such were some of you. But you were washed, you were sanctified, and you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the Spirit of our God. And so, Father, that's what I, I, that I pray for this situation, that in the midst of justice being determined, Lord, in the midst of all this, the, the workings and the things that are happening right now, Father, that you would glorify yourself and that you would be exalted and that you will take in the entire scenario, Lord, that looks like it's just uh, uh, just rife with evil and all this kind of thing, with these lies or dissension or whatever, Lord, that you will take it and you will turn it. And Lord, that you will turn it around for good and that everybody within this entire saga, Lord, will be saved. Lord, that the marriage will not dissolve, but that it will be brought back together under your auspices and under your authority and that it will be a grand and a glorious thing. Uh, Lord, that you do that kind of mighty work here. Father, just minister your healing. Lord, minister your hope. Lord, uh, the things that are in the past are in the past in your forgiveness. And so, Father, I pray that you would just do a marvelous thing here in Jesus' name. Well, y'all stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment.